guys. So I arrived in Germany about five days ago, and even though I haven't seen very much of the country, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience here. Um, Germany is a beautiful country uh, that is filled with the kindest people that I've encountered on any of my European trips. Every time I look a little bit lost, somebody comes up to me and says, can I help you find where you're going? And they're very nice, very welcoming. Uh, and it made me think that uh, I see how the migrant crisis happened because these are these are a welcoming people that wanted to share their beautiful country um, with more unfortunate people. I think that the root of this is really altruism. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the city that I'm in. My sister was in the city about uh, 14 months ago, and she said that it was it was very idyllic, which of course it still is. It's still very beautiful. Um, and she said it was extremely clean, and that she did not see a prominent Muslim presence. Um, and what I've seen is, um, is different than that. I got off the train and I noticed uh, groups of what appear to be migrants leering and hollering. And I noticed something also outside of uh, the college here, that they seem to be um, like waiting for women to come out of the college uh, so that they could kind of harass them. Um, and this is disconcerting for, for a multitude of reasons. But I've also noticed that it's vastly different at night here. Um, I've noticed you know, large groups of what appear to be migrants kind of roaming at night. Some of them uh, seemed really intoxicated and they're hollering at women. And that seems very atypical of German culture. The Germans seem very reserved and uh, orderly and respectful. So I'm surrounded by ancient history here and I've been walking around and seeing large piles of trash and graffiti on um, these old beautiful buildings. And although this is still far and away cleaner than Seattle or Los Angeles or New York or most American cities, um, it did make me think about accountability. The German people would not be defacing their own property, um, that they wouldn't be leaving piles of trash. It just doesn't seem in their nature. They seem orderly and organized and, and respectful. So I think that this is almost exclusively a migrant issue. What makes you want to respect your surroundings and respect the place that you're in and the architecture and even the people? Um, and the more that I think about it, uh, the more that I believe that it really is shared values. In America, especially in Seattle, New York, Los Angeles, those are, those are really, really filthy cities where people, they'll throw trash in the street, they don't particularly care about keeping where they live clean. And I've, I've always wondered why, you know, why do these people that share this culture um, not care about preserving American cities? And I think that that is probably because we live in such a multicultural society that there isn't a set of shared values that um, protects our culture. And I think that that's what's happening here in Germany and why German cities are experiencing uh, such a tumultuous time right now. They brought in a population with value systems that are incongruous to theirs. And these people um, don't have respect for German culture. They want to take advantage of it. They want the welfare. And they are not willing to respect their cultural heritage, their ancestry, their buildings, their surroundings. Um, and it seems like they aren't really willing to respect the people as well. And so although this did make me reflect on the migrant issue in Germany, I've just been thinking a lot about America today. I went into a beautiful church and there was just an element of, of reverence and sanctity and the people inside the church and outside of the church um, just seemed like they wanted to share in this part of German heritage. And also this made me lament that in America we don't have this old world history. We don't have these old buildings and the sense of culture to rally around and perhaps that's why we don't have the accountability in our American cities. Having disparate cultures coexisting in a society really breaks down the trust factor um, and decreases accountability. There is no incentive to invest in a community if it's not your own community. Um, if you don't really feel like you're going to get anything out of it, uh, why would you put anything into it? I will say there does seem to be a sadness that hangs in the air here. Um, I was watching Germans go about their business this morning and it seems like they are just a friendly people that want to go about their business. Um, and they also seem to be ignoring the tremendous problem of Muslim migration here to some degree, but I only have been to two cities in Germany. So next I'll be going to Sweden, um, which I've been reading a lot of stories about. I'm a, I'm a little concerned. Somebody sent me a list of the no-go zones in Sweden and it was like 50 plus areas. Um, and so I'd imagine that I'm going to see the same kinds of issues that result from incongruous cultures attempting to coexist. On my trip, I want to continue my channel in the way that I had before since I'm going to be here for several months. Um, so I'll be doing videos about American politics and culture uh, while I'm here, but I'm going to try to intermix 
some of the experiences that I'm having when I'm traveling and give you some footage of what I'm seeing here. Um, so my channel is going to change a little bit over the next few months, but it'll go back to the way that it was when I get back to America. So yeah, if you have any requests about what you want to see, my trip is pretty open. I haven't planned the whole thing, and so I am definitely willing to meet up with subscribers and uh, to take suggestions about where to go, what to film, what you want to see. So please give me input in the comments. Uh, I would love to check some of those places out. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.